Tech Technologies, it's September 18th, uh, 2018. Here's this week's build. We've got a beautiful 26 foot trailer, eight and a half feet wide, uh, seven plus feet interior. We're running this off of a diesel generator, electric compressor. You'll see we've got uh, dual hatch doors here, escape hatch doors over the axles. You can load material here. You can load material through the ramp door or you can pump directly from outside if you have a big job, just pull your drum pumps out. This is a quick walk around. We're gonna go ahead and get inside this trailer and fire it up in just a second. You'll see it's got beautiful diamond plate floors, white metal interior, and a ton of space to carry your ladders, scaffolds, whatever you need to carry in this trailer. Step up into this trailer. You can get in from either the driver's side. We've left a little space here for you to jump up inside. And then you have another door here on the passenger side in case you want to come in or out this door here. Plenty of space up front. You carry uh, plastic, your coveralls, any of your consumables that you might need. And this is a pretty simple startup. Come up into the trailer. Green button, orange button. Takes just a few seconds, and this trailer will start up. We'll get lights and power to everything else. In the Inside here, the first thing you'll see, we got 150 feet of hose. We manufacture this hose. We use 3350 PSI high pressure core, and then we scuff this with the Velcro scuff jacket. Has all the fittings, it's color coded, ready to go. Nice professionally manufactured hose rack. Hold your hose. Here's our machine here. This is a Graco 825. 25 pounds a minute, uh, 2,000 PSI. We've actually pressured it up a little higher than that in the past. Uh, it's good for a couple hundred feet of hose. Just a good, dependable machine. We sell a lot of these. Very little problems, very little questions about them. Um, we keep our air dry with a 50 CFM refrigerated air dryer. Um, you're probably not even gonna pull 20 CFM through this unit but we just like to oversize it. You'll see it's on a nice stand, everything professionally mounted. We built a nice platform for the A25 to get it up off the ground. Everything's run nice and neat, all the way out to your drum pumps and your drums. Leaves plenty of space in here. You could haul probably six kits of foam in this trailer, a ton of space. Again, beautiful diamond plate floor. We'll go ahead and turn this machine on right now. Break 0825, you'll see we've spaced it away from the wall. Nothing more miserable than trying to work on your machine when it's buried against the wall. A couple Y screeners here, one for the A side and the B side. We've got quick shutoff valves right here to shut those down. You see the air motor back here. Recirculation lines we add to this. This actually goes back to the uh, drum pumps puts material back into your drum if you need to circulate or emergency relief of pressure on the system. Turning the machine on, it's got a basic master power switch right here. You'll 
see it uh, fire up. Right now our primary heaters are at 78, 79 degrees. Hose heat, you'll see down here, is at 79. These are your target temperatures, everything's at 125. You want to turn them on, just hit those buttons, go back to your regular temperature. You'll hear the generator providing power as this unit cycles. The A and the B are your primary heaters. They shoot right up in temperature immediately. Hose heat will take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. That's usually what you turn on first thing when you fire up your machine. We're not gonna do a full fire up on this. I don't have uh, drum pumps in any material, but you can see from some of my other videos uh, how these drum pumps and stuff work. But this is it here, it's a beautiful trailer. LED lighting and um, custom built, kind of a one-off for this customer. Again, this is Tim here. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I'd be happy to answer all of your questions. 770-274-9888.